What's up guys, Adam here with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make your own 50 amp generator cable. And the reason we're going to do this is because a lot of times when you're looking for a bigger or longer generator cable, the price can be pretty expensive and the availability of them is not very good. And that's probably why the price is more expensive because of the availability, but in this case I needed a longer uh, generator cable and also one that could handle a higher load as I have a much bigger generator coming that will be able to power my whole house. So if you get a bigger generator that can put out a higher load then you also need to upgrade everything from your wires to your your inlet boxes and everything in between that, that generator and your panel to be able to handle that extra load. And so this wire has a six gauge wire running throughout it to be able to handle that extra amperage and so I'm going to show you how to hook on to the end or wire up the end uh, a female twist lock plug. And a lot of people are going to want to know, well, can I, can I also put on a dryer plug to back feed in my main panel using my dryer outlet in my laundry room? Yes, yes you can. Uh, that's not the most recommended way of doing things as it could potentially be dangerous. Um, but I know a lot of people that want to do it this way. I know a lot of people that have done it this way and you know, they've had no problems with it. As long as you're shutting off that main power so that you don't backfeed your power into the utility power to where if a lineman is trying to work on the, uh, the lines that they don't get electrocuted, uh, that's one of the first things you're going to want to do. And then on top of it, for your protection, when you make up one of those cords, you're going to have two male ends and if you just plug in that one end to your generator and turn that generator on and it starts sending power through it, if you touch that other male end before it's plugged into your dryer outlet, you could get electrocuted. And so that's why they call it a suicide cord because um, if that power is running through it and you touch it, then, you know, bad things can happen. Um, and I can already hear all the electricians out there going, oh my goodness, he's going to kill people. This, These cords, they kill people. Well, you know as long as you do it safely and you follow those steps so as to not electrocute yourself and uh, send power back into the grid um, you know do it at your own risk I, I'm I'm not doing it that way uh, it's again it's not recommended to be done that way but people do do it and so but I'm not showing you how to do that in this video I'm showing you how to uh, attach and wire up a 50 amp female twist plug and the instructions are going to be similar to how to wire up a dryer plug but in this video we're going to be wiring up a 50 amp female twist plug so let's get into it all right guys so we have our cable here and like i said in this for this particular cable this one already had the uh mail in put on it this is what's going to actually plug into the 50 amp outlet on the generator and it's just the extra step I didn't have to take, but if you do have to do it by, if you just buy the cable itself, the wiring instructions to do this are not gonna be that much different than I'm about to show you hooking up this female plug. And so this female plug is a Reliance uh, female twist lock plug. And as you can see there, this is where the plugs would go into on this one and it would plug into this Reliance inlet box, which I have not installed yet, obviously. This is going to go on the outside of my house, and on the wall, and then we'll run cables from it to my main panel at the meter on the outside, and then this plug goes in here, and then twists and locks in. So I'll make a video on that, and that will be linked either in the description below or I may even put it up in the top right of this video now to where you can click on it and check it out. But for this video, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our female twist lock plug and this sleeve right here just pulls right off. And we're gonna take that sleeve and run all of our wires through it. Like that. And you can slide it down so it's out of the way and then we'll slide it back up towards the end and this plug in particular is super easy they've got it color coded so you can't really screw it up but you've got green for your ground you got 
white and a W for the white common wire. And then X and Y, uh, they've got this one marked red and black, uh, red for X and the black colored wire for Y. Um, if it's not color corded X and Y, they're just both hot, so it really doesn't matter which ones go in each. But for the sake of this plug, since they're color co coded, we'll just follow what it shows. So what we need to do first is uh, we need to make sure that once these are plugged in, that the cord length is going to be right, which I don't think that that's going to be right. So we need to cut these down a little bit. All right, so now that we've got them cut down to the sizes that they need to be, we need to cut this insulation off around them. And depending on your wire cutters, it may be a little bit different, but you should have one marked on there that fits the gauge wire that you're trying to cut. All right, now we've got our insulation cut down. Um, you wanna kinda, now with it, it, the wires being as thick as these are, they're not really that workable, but you just wanna make sure that they're all together. So kinda try to spin them together. And then we'll take our plug and we'll start putting them into those uh, colored, uh, holes that we've got on here and so we're going to put the red one into X and then we'll tighten it down and remember X or uh, red and black are both going to be hot All right, so now that we've got our two hot wires, our red and our blacks installed, let's go ahead and put in our common, our white wire into our common or W marked inlet here. Tighten it down. And last but not least, our ground. Make sure they're all the way up in there and seated so that you have more for the lugs to tighten down onto so they can't be pulled out or fall out very easily. So on this plug, it's got these two uh, plastic pieces that come down and what, they're, what they do is they tighten together uh, to give a better grip on the cord then itself so there isn't as much pulling uh, on those wires. So all you gotta do is line them up and we're going to use a power tool for this. All right. Just want it to be snug. So those are all tightened up. So everything's hooked up. And so now we just take this sleeve and we slide it back up. And you need to find there's some holes for screws to go into down in the sleeve. And you got to line them up with, you got screws right down here coming down through the plug that then those screws screw into to hold that sleeve up so that it doesn't slide down at all. So then once you got it up all the way, take your screwdriver and screw down into it. All right, so it's just that easy to uh, hook up a plug to the end of a cord for a generator cord and uh, you know any whatever you do end up putting on the end of yours 
more than likely whatever you buy will come with some form of instructions but this video is a a good reference point to give you an idea of how it gets put together and let's see if uh, this will go into our lock into our box here yep there we go locks right into place all right guys so it's really just that easy um really nothing to it uh just follow the instructions uh make sure that you're putting the each cord into the correct hole that it's designed to go into and uh you'll be able to make up your own generator cord probably at a much less expensive price than if you were to buy it already made together and you know at least this way you can customize which uh plugs that you can put on the end and uh, make it more affordable to, affordable to buy a bigger or longer cord so this one is uh, all done and ready to go and so if you found this video to be helpful and informative to you uh, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing to the channel as i have a bunch more how to and do it yourself videos coming out real soon uh, i've got a bunch more generator type projects that i'll be doing here in the very near future so please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.